Welcome to the Freelancer's Tea Break, the bite-sized podcast all about freelancing and working from home to enjoy during your tea break. Brought to you by Emma Cossey from freelancelifestyle.co.uk. And now, your host, Emma Cossey. A couple of years ago, I had my first coaching session as a coachee. I was a few years into freelancing, and although I had a sneaking suspicion that it would all be a little bit woo-woo for my liking, I had a feeling bringing in someone external would really help clean up my cluttered brain, especially as an introvert who has a habit of falling down a rabbit hole of worry. Thankfully, coaching was far more practical than I had envisioned, and through that first coaching session, I built up my confidence, identified values which I could base future decisions on, Um, unearthed some limiting beliefs that were holding me back and set goals to grow my business. In fact, I loved the session so much I signed up to do my own coaching diploma. Now, one of the main drivers for me was the knowledge that coaching can really benefit freelancers like me who work on their own and don't necessarily get to bounce off other people. So a few of the ways that I think freelancing um, or freelancers can benefit from coaching is through accountability. Um, Having someone who is completely focused on helping you achieve your goals can be a real motivator. As most coaching relationships last around six sessions, knowing that you have to update them in the next session is a great way of having accountability when you don't have the benefits of co-workers. Personally, I encourage my clients to send me a photograph or screen grab evidence of achieving their goal and give them a nudge to do something so many freelancers forget to do. Celebrate achieving that goal. Secondly, it helps explore deeper limiting beliefs and improve your mindset. So coaching isn't just about goal setting. A little further into your coaching relationship, you'll tackle limiting beliefs that stop you taking the first step or the next step in your business. So for many freelancers, a limiting belief is everyone's going to find out I'm an imposter or no one's going to pay me to do that or pay me that much. Identifying and challenging those brain gremlins is key to growing your business and feeling a little bit more in control. Having a space to talk without judgment is also um, an indulgence that many of us don't have. Traditional coaches will rarely offer opinions or suggestions in sessions. The majority of their input will be asking questions and taking the coachee through exercises. This means you get the opportunity to talk without being interrupted or judged. Guilt-free talking time, in other words. It's a little bit odd at first. I personally had to bite back the urge to turn the conversation back to the coach every five minutes but liberating and often leads to thought processes that um, thought processes that you didn't realise were there. Those uninterrupted thought processes are often the most powerful. Finally, it helps boost confidence and helps create goals you'll actually achieve. So one of my favourite things about coaching is that it makes the coachee realise they already have all the right answers. They just need someone to tease it out of them with the right questions. So additionally, a big part of coaching is giving the coachee the power to come up with goals that are entirely customised to them. Have you ever given a friend advice only for them to ignore it? That's because it's based on your situation and experiences. The best goals are those set by the individual as it's completely customised to their own situation. So those are just a few of the advantages of coaching for freelancers. Um, if that's something that you're interested in doing, do drop me a line. Um, just drop me an email on hello at emmacossi.com. Um, and I'm offering 15-minute free sessions um, for anybody that wants to find out a little bit more um, about how coaching can benefit them. And it's no obligation. Um, thank you very much for listening. Um, join me um, on my website, freelancelifestyle.co.uk. Come find me on Twitter, freelance underscore life, or come join us in the Facebook group, which is the Freelance Lifestylers, and um, which is full of loads of fantastic, helpful and friendly freelancers.